Hey guys, it's Lydia here in Creator Studios. Welcome back to the YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be doing a review on this new nylon bridge filament. Um, I just got this and uh, I've been printing a little bit with it. I've had some frustration, but I'll go over that with you right now. So, I have done some test prints for this filament, and some went good, some went bad, but I am again still experimenting with, uh, with all this filament. So, one of the first things I printed was this um, 3D Benchy, and almost halfway through the print, um, I was messing with the extruder thing, and it cut off. It stopped extruding because it wasn't moving the filament, so it cut off the top basically. And then what I also printed or attempted to print was an iPhone uh, case. Now this case separated, and I don't know what the other part is, but in total of five, four pieces. So this was the ring on the top that was that was the lip kind of and then this side and then I don't know where the other side is were both the sides and the layer adhesion wasn't that good um, I'm not really sure why I had it at 245 I think I had it the highest I could go um, but I also printed a Marlin so this is the Marvin um, it turned out actually pretty well and on the top um, I can see that I kind of might need a cooling fan, which I do have installed now, so you can see right there. Um, but actually, the layer adhesion on here was pretty great. There's no infill on this. Um, I think it's three or four perimeters, and it's just print out the normal 60 millimeters per second. Um, this was the best turnout, and I'm going to be attempting to print another benchy um, to see how that turns out um, it is shiny but right now I have the filament in a bag with this nylon filament you want to store it in a sealed container with um, silica gels and I have all the ones that I got with previous filaments in here because again maybe the layer adhesion was because it was too dry or too wet like uh, too moist and with this filament before you print it it has to be dry so that it um, prints well and prints nicely another thing you can do to dry it out is put it in the oven at I think it's 50 to 60 degrees for about two hours and dry it out before you use it so I got this filament uh, on Amazon pretty sure it was Amazon it was $21 and it's from 3D Maker World and the picture on it shows one of the small but bulky rolls uh, and that's what I thought I was getting but this looks like a kilogram but it's not it's half a kilogram but I like how it uh, came in this nice roll nice big roll but and it all and the only package it came in was just one of these it was just put in here and it did come in its own vacuum sealed bag, but then obviously I printed, so I took it off. Uh, but I do really recommend this filament. Uh, it's great filament, and I'm very excited to experiment more with this filament and use it a lot more. Uh, so I hope you guys like this video. Um, please comment, subscribe, and hit that like button. I'll really appreciate it. Join the team, create something great, and build something new. See you guys in the next video. Bye.